So you, uh, you had mentioned that you wrote down four different uh, times that you've gotten yourself unstuck. You know, you mentioned you've, you've moved uh, physical locations and things, but was wondering, you know, what your most recent one was and, and what was feeling stuck about that scenario. Yeah. Uh, and, and what'd you do to change it uh, from your perspective? Great. So the most recent one was when I was in Bali and I got myself a mansion surrounded by rice paddies and I had a, an infinity pool and I had a slide that would take me from my balcony into the pool. Um, awesome. I had staff looking after me, coming, doing my shopping, washing my scooter, um, giving me a massage every day. Like I had quite the comfortable life, but the comfort zone can get quite uncomfortable over time. And I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was being of service. I wasn't active, passionately working on some kind of business project. And I need that. Uh, and just prior to that, I had been working on an app and I taught myself Java and I, and I coded an app called Get Real, a question game to go deeper. But, but I wasn't, uh, it was like I was slowly dying of comfort. And I'd like to say that I decided I'm going to get myself unstuck from this. Uh, but the universe gave me a nudge. What I was doing in Bali is I was subletting one of my, I had a guest villa. And so I rented the whole place and then I sublet the, the, the guest villa on Airbnb. And you're not allowed to do that in Bali unless you have a work visa. Mm, so even, even if you just had a roommate and you and the roommates paying you, that's illegal. Wow. In, in Bali. And so many people are doing it. I thought, look, I'm just going to take that risk. And if I get in trouble, I'll pay the fine and I'll get deported. But <laughs> I didn't, but I didn't realize there could be jail time. Oh, geez. Associated. And so when I had someone show up on my doorstep one day, flashing a badge and speaking rapid Indonesian and saying, you need to appear for an interview tomorrow. And I spoke to a lawyer and he said, yeah, there might be some jail time while you're waiting for a trial. And I said, well, how long is that? How long are we talking about it? A couple of days, a couple of weeks, six months. And he said, it depends. Oh, and geez. I was like, I am not going to negotiate a bribe from within jail. That's not a good look on me. So um, I spoke to another lawyer and the lawyer said, the best thing you could do is just leave the country fast oh, and wow. you know, come back a few months from now, you know, dismantle everything. Don't, don't be renting anything and come back a few months from now and it'll all blow over. So I had to leave my cushy bubble <laughs> and I had to leave it with hours notice. So just imagine... Jeez. If you, were, if you found out today that you had to leave the country that day and not come back, because um, she said I could come back, but are you going to you gonna trust someone else with your freedom like that? I'm like, I don't know if I, I can ever go back. So I, that was a big shock to the system. And then I, I had to reinvent myself. I'm like, what am I going to do now in the world? And fortunately, you know, I talked to a lot of friends and I uh, got coaching and the answer was, you're a good coach. Go back to working with people one-on-one -on -one and be of service. 